Hey, um, this video is going to be a little different. Um, it's obviously not going to be quiet or silent. So, I decided to actually speak in this one because there's a lot you have to do and some of it can get confusing. So, yeah, let's start. Um, before I get into actual animal signs, the first thing I want to do is show you the sign for animal in general. And that's just like this. It's like a bear or something. You take your hands. Put them against your chest and like move them back and forth or squeeze them. So, animal. All right. Then my favorite animal is a cat. And cat is like you're taking your middle finger and your thumb, and you're like pretending like there's a whisker on your face, and you're like stroking the whisker or something. So, cat. Dog is it's kind of different, but makes sense at the same time. So I'm going to move this back for a second and then I'll show you how you do it. Okay. So, for dog, what you're going to do for dog, what you're going to do is you are going to snap your fingers and then hit your leg. It's like you're calling him or something. So it's like dog. Dog. Okay. Next one is another one of my favorite animals, and that happens to be a rabbit. And with rabbit, you're going to make, I don't know if you remember, but from my other video, we made, when I did alphabet, this is you, you're making U shapes, and you're crossing them like this, and then you're going to do this, like, the, like, the, your fingers are, are the rabbit ears. So, rabbit. Um... Let's see, I can't remember anything else. Squirrel is like this. It's like you're eating a nut or something. So you'll put another. Make use again and then curl them. Put them on your upper lip and pretend like you're eating a nut. Squirrel. Um, I have my book, my handy trusted book. It's helping me remember what animals to use. Um, rat, you're going to make an R shape. It right by your mouth and go up. So, rat. Um, bird. It's like you're pretending like your fingers are the beak. You with this bird. Okay. Raccoon. This is like your um signing that the circles around the black around the eyes of a, of a raccoon because they have the black like they're wearing black eyeliner or something. So you're making R's again for for raccoon. And then you're going to start in the middle of your eye at the bottom and go out. So, raccoon. Uh, what else do I have? Um, uh, uh, mouse is just like rat, but instead of doing the R, you're just doing one finger. Mouse. I think you're pretending like it's the nose of the mouse. Um, let's see, what else do I have here? Okay, owl. Making two O shapes. I'm gonna put them over your eyes and then go in. So, owl. If you've ever seen Napoleon Dynamite, you already know this sign. Um, it's when he is doing the performance for his classroom or whatever it was, uh, where he's signing a song, which is what I do normally. Um, so he does Lord Butterfly, and this is Butterfly. Oh, wait, no, not, you don't do this, you do this, sorry. Butterfly. See, it looks like a butterfly. Woo! <laughs> uh, what else do I have here? Um, let's see... Sorry, I'm trying to find ones I haven't done yet. Um, okay. So, skunk, you're going to start with, make a P-shape from alphabet video that we did. And then you're going to take that P-shape, put it on your nose, and then go up. It's like U, or P-U. P-U, skunk. Skunk. 
Alright, that's for that page. What's next? Alright, now we'll do bug. Bug is... It's like an N, or, I'm oh, sorry, a U. You again, you're gonna put it on your nose and just do this. Bug. B. What? What? Sorry, I haven't done these in a while, so I'm using my reference book, like I said. So, give me a second to remember how to do it. <clears throat> okay, this one's really difficult. So, this is going to be a B, like a bumblebee. You're going to start on your right cheek, make your F shape. Then you're going to go out into the B shape. And then you're going to go down. So it's like it's flying. Okay. Um, fly is easy. You're going to hold, your, hold out your left fist. Or your right S. Um, and you're going to take your right hand into a palm like this. And then it's going to go in like that. Fly. Fly. Alright. Next one. Oh, this one's fun. Okay, this is ant. So for ant, you're going to hold your hand out, which is your right hand, I believe. No, sorry, your left hand. <laughs> it doesn't really matter, but I'm right-handed, so we always want to use your dominant hand for the actual movements. Okay, you're going to hold out your left hand like this, put an A, your right A, on top of it, and it's going to move. Ant. So it's like it's carrying something. Ant. All right. Spider. I love spiders. So, for a spider, you're going to make like, like your spider shape, and you're just going to go forward. So, spider, spider, that just looks creepy. Um, okay, caterpillar, you're going to hold out your left hand. You're going to pretend like your finger is the caterpillar. So you start here, and go out, here, go out, here, go out, caterpillar. Uh, worm? I don't remember how to do worm, so give me just a second. Worm, let's see. Okay. This one's easy. Hold out your left palm. This is going to be a worm. You're going to make your X shape. X, remember X? Put it down like this. It's just like the spider, or just like the caterpillar, but it's not on your arm, it's on your palm. So, worm. Um, what's next? Oh, I love this one. This one's another one, one of my favorites. Snake. Snake. It's like the fangs of the snake, and it's walking, or not walking, slithering. Um, uh, snake. Frog? Okay. So, it's like this. Frog. It's like, it's the... The, the tongue going after a spider or a fly. So you make your S shape, put it against the bottom of your chin, and you're gonna move your thin the index finger and middle finger out. So frog. Fish is easy. How do you think how does the fish move? If someone asked you how to fish move how does the fish move, what would you do? You probably do like this, right? Or like this. This is fish. You just Pretend like your hand's a fish and you're, you're swimming. Okay. Fish. Turtle. I wonder how this sign came to be. So you're going to make your A shape on your left hand, or whatever hand's your dominant, or your not dominant hand. You're going to take your dominant hand, put it over top like this. Then you're going to wiggle your thumb. Turtle. So it's like it's in the shell, right? Turtle. Turtle. Okay. Next one. Uh, what haven't I done yet? Okay, so for lizard, this is gonna be lizard. And what I don't know if I told you before, I don't think I did, because it was silent. Um, with a lot of signs in sign language, 
you use the first letter of the word. So for lizard, like we did, what did we do? I don't remember. But <laughs> with lizard, you make an L. So this is the L shape and sign. If you didn't read, watch my uh, uh, alphabet video, you should do that because that helps you a lot. Um, so with lizard, you're going to hold out your left hand again. You're going to put your right L, right L shape on the left hand. And then you're going to wiggle it up. Lizard. It's like it's crawling up a wall or something. So, lizard. Lizard. Okay. That's that page. Let's go to the next one. There's going to be farm animals now. So, which farm animals live? On a farm. So you can take your, whatever, dominant, whatever hand is dominant, put it on the opposite side of your chin, and drag it around. Farm. Okay, this one, horse. Make the U shape, put it on your forehead, and wiggle your fingers together. Horse, it's like the horse ear, horse's ear. Pony, make the P shape, it's kind of the same thing. Make the P shape, put it on your forehead, and go down twice. Pony, the pony ears. Next one is cow. Sorry, I'm trying to remember. Hold on. Um, please sell the. Okay. Cow. Make a Y shape. Like I said, if you haven't watched my alphabet video, you might want to do that. Y. And put your Y on your forehead. I'm going to twist forward. Cow. I don't, I don't really understand that one, but cow. I understand milk, but milk is in a different video. I'll show you later. Um, sheep. You know, it's like you're shearing the sheep. So you hold out your left hand. Hold on, let me move this down so you can see better. Hold out your left hand. Take your dominant, or hold out your non dominant hand. Take out your right, your dominant hand <laughs> and you're gonna do like you're gonna go from U to V. U shape, V shape. And you're gonna pretend like you're shearing the sheep. It's like these are scissors. So sheep. Okay. Sheep. Goat. Okay. Goat. You're going to do, have to do the same thing twice in two different spots for goat. So you're going to start with an open V. Oh, no, sorry. You're going to start with an S. Put it on your forehead, or on your chin. Wow, I know my body parts. Put it on your chin, then flick out into a curved V. So like this. So if I have it on my chin, it's going to be, chin like this is the top of my chin. You're going to go V. V. And they do the same thing up here. So, go. Okay. Um, next one, pig. That's what you do for pig. You take an open hand, put it on your chin, go down. Pig. Duck. gonna be like a duck quacky. So duck. Make the U shape and touch it to your thumb. Duck. Quack quack. Okay. Rooster. This is I hate this. I hate this sign. I can never do it right. Um it's not it's not hard, it's just my fingers don't like to cooperate. So I did my number video, right? I think so. Yeah, I did my, my alphabet and then I did my number video. So you're going to make the number three. My index or ring finger does not want to stay down. You make a three. You're going to turn it. Put your thumb on your forehead. And you're just going to go. You're just going to tap it. Rooster. So this is like the... I don't know what it's called. The red thing on top of their head. <laughs> the feathers or whatever they're called. So, 
Make the three shape. Rooster. Turkey. Make the G shape. Put it on your nose. And go down. Turkey. This could be like the... The... Turtle? Is that what it's called? I don't know. The red thing that hangs out off a turkey. Make the G shape. Put it on your nose. And twist down. Turkey. Turkey. Goose. Goose is obvious. Put your left, your non-dominant hand down, like a, like a surface, like a surface would be. Put your dominant elbow on your less dominant hand. Make the G shape again. This is going to be goose. See what I mean by the first letter? Goose, and then you point your fingers down, your thumb and your pinky. Alright, your thumb and your pointer. Goose. See how it looks like a goose? Goose. Alrighty, let's see what else we got. Ooh, these are my favorite animals. Um, okay, you're gonna hold out your left hand. These are zoo animals. Where do the zoo animals live? That's right. <laughs> they live in a zoo. Um, okay, so for zoo, if you remember from my letter video, we don't. There isn't an actual sign for the letter Z, so you just shine it, sign it with your finger. Um, so, for zoo, you hold out your non-dominant hand, take your dominant index finger, and make a Z on the hand. Zoo. Zoo. Okay. When you go to a zoo. Where do you tend to see the animals? Are they on the open? Or are they behind a window? Or where else could they be? It involves metal. You're right. Cage. <laughs> I'm a teacher, so if I do that a lot, I'm sorry. Um, so you're going to hold the, let the number five. You know the number five from my other video? gonna have palm facing your face and you're going to drop down it's almost like sleep I'll, I'll show you sleep later this cage it's like you're high you're behind the, the metal poles cage everybody knows this sign or should at least you're going to put I don't know, I guess you can put an S or an A. A. S. Um, on your thumb. And this is for elephant. What do you think you do? Elephant. Turn sideways. You guess. Elephant. Elephant. Okay. Giraffe. Okay, this is, we're going for a giraffe. We're going to pretend like we're making the long neck. So you're going to put it on the letter C. 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 You put the C on your right, on the right side of your neck, or whatever side your dominant neck, dominant neck, dominant side. And you're going to take this and just go up. You're going to twist the C and go up. So giraffe. Giraffe. Okay. Okay, this is hippo. You're gonna make two Y shapes with both of your hands. You're going to put your left dominant hand down to where the fingers point up, and your dominant hand, sorry, this is how it goes, your dominant hand down so your fingers are pointed downward. For hippo, all you do is you lift up and go down. Lift up and go down. Lift up, go down. Hippo. Hippo. Alrighty, next one. Rhino. What do rhinos have that we all know and can recognize them with? That one's kind of hard, so I'm just going to tell you. It's a horn on their nose. Um, so, for rhino, you're going to make a C on your nose. C. 
see, 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 so see on your nose and go up into an S shape, up into an S shape, if you didn't hear me that time. So this is what it's going to look like. Turn to the side. Turn to this side. You see? Up into an S. See? Into an S. That's rhino. Lion is going to make... This is like you're going to stroke its mane. So, because, you know, I look like a lion. Um, anyway, so you're going to make a five shape. You're going to curl it. Put it on the side of your head. Or on the top. It doesn't really matter. And stroke backwards. Lion. 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 Alrighty. This is my favorite animal of all time. What is that phrase where people say lions and blank and blank? So what's after lion? Tiger. Okay. My favorite animal is tiger. I love tigers, especially the white tigers. Anyway, I'm getting off track. So let's go back to the signs. Um, so for tiger, you're going to make five shapes again. Bolt two of them this time. You're going to turn them towards you. And you're going to do this gonna curl them so it's gonna be like almost like a like a beast or something uh, so you make your curved fives you're gonna twist them put them on your cheeks and go out it's like the line or the stripes of the tiger so tiger tiger rawr, tiger I did do the roar video for um, Katy Perry in sign so, I mean, if you want to watch that, you can. I use the word, I use tiger a lot in there because she uses tiger. She does. I am the tiger. <laughs> okay, let's move on before I get off track again. Bear. Remember how we did animal? Bear is pretty much the same thing, but you're going to cross your hands. Bear. Bear. Monkey. <laughs> yes, I just said that. <laughs> for monkey, you're just going to make a claw shape with both of your hands, put them on your waist, and go up like you're pretending you're a monkey. Okay. Kangaroo! Let's see. Okay. Kangaroo. You're going to make these shapes. I don't know why they're choosing to use B, but we're making B shapes. You're going to put your dominant hand on top of your non-dominant hand, like this. And you're going to hop forward twice. Kangaroo. 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 Okay. Alligator is just like the uh, hippo, where you did this for hippo. For alligator, you're just doing claw shapes. Alligator. 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 Okay. Um, it's our last page of animals, guys. Okay. <sighs> okay, so you're going to start with the, the your do non-dominant hand and make a nest shape. I'm going to put that down. This is going to be seal. I'm sorry, I didn't tell you that. S down in front of you. I'm going to take your B shape. Oh, open B. So basically, all your fingers are together, but your thumb is out. You're going to put that on top of the S. And you're going to go down. Seal. 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 Okay. Deer. Make the three shape again, which I don't like because I can't do it right. Um, I'm doing this for, what, 15 years and I still can't do the three right? Okay, so three. I'm going to put both of those on your temples and go up like a reindeer or something. Deer. Deer. Okay. 
wolf is like you're gonna do you're gonna show your show the wolf's snout the, show the wolf's snout okay so you're gonna take a claw shape again or the yeah basically like the claw shape put that on your nose like a muzzle almost you're gonna go out wolf Ow. <laughs> wolf wolf okay Box. You're gonna do the nose thing again. You're gonna make the F shape box. Put it on your nose and go back and forth. So fox, fox, camel. This is kind of. I don't remember how to do camel. So give me just a second. It tells you how to do it, but I don't. I don't read it. I just look at the signs and the pictures, and then I tell you because I've done it so many times. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so we're making what looks like the the camel's hump. So you're gonna start with the C shape. You're going. Oh, gonna start on the opposite side. So with your dominant hand, go to the opposite side, make the C shape. You're gonna go up and down and up. It's like you're making the the hump of the camel. So camel or C for camel. Camel. Okay, last one. This is the last sign I have for you. Okay. And this one is zebra. This one, you're gonna make fours with your fingers, four shapes, four. You're going to put them on your chest, well not on your chest, but in front of your chest. You're going to go out. Let me move this down so you can see better. Make your four shapes, put them on your chest, go out, put them in front of your stomach or your abdomen, and go out. So zebra is zebra. It's like you're showing the stripes. Zebra. Okay. That's all the animals I have for you today. Um, if you have any questions, or if you want to know more, or if you, I don't know, don't like how I do it and you want to complain, or, yeah, <laughs> I can't think of anything else. So, yeah, that's my video. So if you have, like I said, I'm going to repeat myself again. Any questions or comments or concerns or any of that, please let me know. If you like that I use my voice instead of it being completely silent, also let me know that. Um, but yeah, I'll see you later. Yay, inside! Clapping inside, yay! Bye!